Hello everyone, this is Richard G, and today we will be doing the west path for the deep part. So, we'll take that left warp there, go through there, and step on the switch, go through, like I just did. We'll take this warp here, and this will lead us there. So it's basically the opposite effect, where you just go to the opposite direction you want to, except for the last one. So these switches will open different things. The, the west and... The west and east paths are the easiest. We're doing the west path, so just this switch, and up we go. So, this will start on 21F, and this will finish off the dungeon. It goes all the way up to floor 36. So, on this side, we're seeing some more Pokemon. These are fully evolved. And we're seeing some more traps. The Gust Trap shows up. We're going to find more common reviving items, like this, basically the seed. And in this part, there is a recruit, but you will not see it yet. We'll get to that when it's there. However, right away in this part, you can find in the wall an egg. This egg will contain a Tyrogue. It is visible and can spawn on any floor of this path. Now, the west path is similar in appearance and Pokemon almost completely compared to the east path the west and the east paths are very similar and hello monster house i welcome thee for the exp that is very nice okay so monster house here those are possible which makes this place even better for training so i may be level 80 which is high but it is possible to train here although my Druddigan could be better trained somewhere else, but I don't have anything in the 60s or 70s to use for this video other than what I've got now. So, this is the best we've got, and honestly, it's not that bad. But yeah, usually you're going to want to train in the 60s or maybe even 70s here. That's where it's most efficient. 50s if you have a very good type advantage. Now, something I, we haven't come across yet that can spawn are Hippowdons, and they will have the Sandstream ability, which will just, as the name kind of says, just summon in a Sandstorm. While you can use Cloud 9 to negate any Sandstorms at the start of the floor, as soon as you switch, if something spawns with Sandstream, the Sandstorm will still go through. So the only way to effectively use Cloud 9 is if you're training your Cloud 9 Pokemon here. Most likely thing I could see for that would be Altaria. Due to being a flying type and all. So yeah, now, as I mentioned last in um, the first part with the whole first, like the arena and stuff, that video. Um, I did state that later on there would be more fighting types. Here they are. So... Definitely a flying type is one of the best Pokemon to train here. Especially when there's ground types here as well. Comes in handy. The only danger then with training a flying type is the rock sliding aggrons. But aggrons a pain no matter what, am I right? At least this place does give you plenty of supplies. So that does help. Considering you can only bring 30 to the start of the dungeon. It does help to be kind of given all these supplies. And there's the Endure Hariyama. Just kind of push through that. Crobat have wide guards, so that'll happen. So AoEs don't necessarily work all the time. But Dredigan's just trotting through. So basically, a good place to train and go against fighting types for the most part. But there are some other types thrown in, like there's the Crobats for... Oh, there's that again. That might be... I mean, Correction, that might be just Quick Guard. 
The water, if you can step on it, does not do any negative effects. So feel free to walk on it. Hmm. A little lag there. Okay, there we go. As you're seeing, this part does have more honeys. While they're not extremely common, they are not terribly rare either. So, an interesting place to hunt for honeys if you wish to do so. Although, probably not the best method. There's a TM on the ground. There's TM Torment. Some of the better TMs you could find low kick in the, oh, I believe, in the water and possibly even the walls. You can find TM Brick Break on the ground. You can find TM Bulk Up on the ground. So those are some better options, too. And now that we're in 31, things are going to be a little harder. Or maybe things do change a little bit. While the scenery and that looks the same, there is a little change. From 31F, which is what we're on, and up... You, we have the potential to find a sock. This is the wet. This is the exclusive. The west side is the only part that has sock. It is recruitable, and it's 31 F up. It's not exactly common either, but there's one right there. We actually found one. So we're gonna see what the rate is at level 100 with the max rank, 22%. No items boosting it up. Did not get it, but Sock is here. There's the proof. And let's see what time it is. I don't think time matters, but just to be confirmation, it's day. So for sure, 100%, it's out at day. <laughs> so we got that going on. Ah, discharging pro pass. There's a threat to flying types. So yeah, Sky Globe may be in order. Okay, I'm getting hit stunned. Alright. So I think it's in order to uh, heal up our PP there. Okay. So we're seeing even more fighting types. And they are fully evolved. Snowy orb. Okay, that was underneath the honey. So yeah, various orbs. Gummies as always, but they always appear after 10F. Right now, I'm just trying to find the stairs, and there they are. Alright. We're almost done. Ah, oh, there's that. I got stuck. I was unable to switch. So yeah, that happened. That's why it's always nice to find reviving items here. And as you can see, there is darkness. I get my revive seat back that I used. Perfect. And this is the last floor. And if it wasn't obvious, since I didn't say it earlier, there are no secret rooms in this part. And now it is the end. So after this, we have a boss. And the boss of the West Path is Hitmon Lee. We'll just let him use some moves and kind of show him off. If he decides to. He's all about kicking. So there's Rolling Kick. And if he's going to use anything else. Yep, Mega Kick. So basically he's just got a bunch of kicking moves. He can deal high damage, but he doesn't have much for defenses. And we got two mushrooms. He also has the potential to drop a big mushroom. And it sends us right back here. So, 
That was Tannen Training Dojo West Path there the, at the later part. Next up will be the East Path, which it is similar, but I have to show it off because there are some distinct differences. For example, the West being exclusive to Sock and Hitmon Lee, but there are counterparts in the East Path which will be covered in that video. So, this is Richard G, and may the dragons be with you.